Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a mobile device in order to be used with a different carrier or network other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices these days are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier, and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 2, also known as the Z Flip 5G, and this is a device that is originally from Sprint here in the U.S., and as we'll be able to see, this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked because as we can see here with a different SIM, uh, different carrier SIM card inserted, we are getting the standard messages that say to contact Sprint to unlock the device. And then if we also slide down the notification panel, we'll also see one that says invalid SIM card. So those are the standard messages that show up on pretty much every Sprint device when they have yet, yet not been unlocked. And so Sprint is a carrier that will do the SIM unlock for you as long as you meet all of the requirements. But the requirements are usually that you be the original owner of the device, that you have it fully paid off and out of contract and all that kind of good stuff, and usually also that you have it active with them for a certain number of days or a certain number of months. So we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific device, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers and go with someone else other than Sprint before they met or satisfied Sprint's requirements, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was still locked. They claimed the device was unlocked or that it was already eligible for unlock via Sprint or something of that nature. And then, of course, after the buyer purchased it, they found that not to be true and the seller had long since disappeared. It's a very common scam that happens these days, unfortunately. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this device SIM unlocked without having to go through Sprint and meet all of their requirements. It's a procedure that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And that's actually exactly what we're doing right here, right now, while it's plugged in so that you can see the before and after. And I should also mention, this is something that can be done for just about anyone, anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection. And we can remotely connect directly to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here right now. So our unlock program has finished running. The phone is just going to restart here real quick. And then we should be able to see that we can indeed get signal and register on that test SIM card without having to, uh, without seeing those error messages that were on there. So I'm going to go ahead and kick the SIM card back in here just to push it back in. And then it's going to tell us that it wants us to use the Sprint card, but we're not actually going to do that. So then if we swipe away the lock screen here, we will notice that we don't have that message in at the bottom where it was telling us to contact Sprint to unlock the device. And then also if we look up in the signal in the notification panel here, we will not see that message that says invalid SIM card. If we look at the bottom there, we can actually see that we are registered on Cricut. That is the provider of the SIM card that we have inserted. And they are a prepaid provider here in the U.S. that runs on AT&T's network. If I jump into the SIM card status section here, we will be able to indeed see that we are registered on Cricut. We've got our in-service signal there. We've got our LTE up and going. And the device is fully registered and working on this SIM card. I'll go ahead and jump back here just to show you exactly what we're working with. So again, we have a Z Flip 5G. This is the second generation of the Z Flip, of the foldable model. So it's also sometimes called the Z Flip 2. And then that model number there, the F707U, that is the model number of all of the U.S. versions of the Z Flip 5G, no matter which carrier it originally comes from. So if you have a Z Flip 5G from Sprint and would like help getting it SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the details there as well. 
While you're here, make sure, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.